Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market, a daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USDNR. Uh, what do we do in this? We look at Nifty, we look at Bank Nifty, we look at USDNR, we look at the open interest uh, charts uh, and we look at the FIA, DIA data and then we come to a fair conclusion on what the market is likely to do tomorrow and then we figure out what is our response to whatever market is doing regardless of what market does, right? So on that note, let's get started with yesterday's uh, thing. So yesterday we were again not convinced about the breakout because of mild support from OI, FI and whatnot. Uh, also, I missed this yesterday. I wish I hadn't missed this yesterday. But today is the FOMC event, right? Federal Open Markets, uh, that committee, commission committee, whatever, who, who cares what they are called. They are basically going to release the minutes of their uh, interest rate uh, uh, interest rate decision uh, that they had done the 75 basis points they will explain why they did what they did and release some minutes today right so that event is also there but as Yug is asking most likely there is some breakout which is happening see the thing is this right if this is not breakout I don't know what is breakout it can be a fake out because if you look at futures chart but at some point you have to believe in something, right? You can't always say that you have to game career. Market has better things to do than gamers. But again, I have to have to have to point this out. This is supremely low volumes, right? Like here, man to karta hai, long jao because breakout. But I have one problem which is this low volume. It is simply not convincing. It's so I'm not so absolutely don't short this. Please don't short nifty now. I didn't short nifty. Day before, I didn't short Nifty after 17700. In fact, I won't short Nifty yesterday. I won't uh, short Nifty today. I won't short Nifty tomorrow, etc. etc. Long depends on your risk appetite, right? So, this is definitely not a shorting market. Now, let's play things uh, one by one. So, point number one it looks like Nifty has broken out. The only argument against it is that the volumes are low, right? But it has broken out. You can't say that, nay, nay, up to cheating, jal rahe, you know. Uh, and uh, you is saying I missed the trend due to fear. Yeah, many missed it. Yeah, this is a very big thing. Right? Short journey, it doesn't feel courage. For long journey, it feels courage. Lagta hai. So that is number one. But like, let's look at open interest. 17800 OI massive unwinding. 17900 OI addition 6 million. Today call decreased by 1.3 million. Put increased by 14 million. And now option chain is looking very even around the ATM. 18,000 is a resistance. 7900 and 7800 are supports 1.3 which is a very high uh, PCR all of this are screaming bullish right but here is the missing part I don't know what FIIs are up to but they bought twice as many puts today as calls and the gap between call and put has narrowed so 20k puts uh, calls bought 20, 40k puts bought uh, 2300 crores of stock bought which is I mean, sorry, this is very bearish. Futures may nothing because neutral 7 crores kya hai, right? And stocks may 2300 crores, that is bullish. So net net, right? Looks like Nifty has broken out. Looks like. 17,900 and below is a support. 18,000 is 1.3 bullish. 20k calls, 40k puts bearish. Neutral almost zero on FI data. FI stock data is bullish. There is an event risk of FOMC minutes. So my point is here, kal jab market khulega, tab hum decide kar lenge. But here is what I will do, right? If tomorrow market opens, we know that this is the point of breakout. And if we get a decent buying opportunity at around 17,800 17, levels, whichever, with strong volumes and positive intraday candles, bullish candles, it's a buy. Because this support, this resistance, which was the trend line is now going to act as a support and it can go up. But if this trend line breaks and comes back, then it is a short purely because then we can assume that last two days ka breakout, so called breakout was on thin volumes and this was a scam. Because I will tell you why I am saying this, right? Look at all these points of reversal. Look at this down move. Look at this reversal. Look at this reversal. All of these had volumes, right? But this is like among the lowest volume days in Nifty in the last, I don't know how many... So that could also be because it's an event and people are not, but you can see that this is a very low volume day, right? Today, it's among the lowest volume days in Nifty Futures. Uh, so it, it's it's not nice. It's not very confirmatory of a breakout. So what we have to do is, 
tomorrow there's an today there's an FOMC event. FOMC event will obviously bring some news. So if this falls back to the trend line, so then it's a buy on dip. If it if there is positive price action, so what's the plan? If market comes down and it gives you bullish price action candles with volumes at 17800 to 17700 zone or 17850 or whichever right just end of the trend line then it's a buy if there is negative price action towards the break of the trend line and it goes back into the trend line then it is a sell right this is what nifty is now let's look at bank nifty again bank nifty seems to be stronger than nifty any given day because it has so today, right, you can see this, right, it has come down here, rejected with, formed a doji with reasonably strong volumes. So again, my plan for bank nifty is simple. If this goes back below this trend line, then it is bearish. But as long as it stays back, it is bullish. In fact, right, my bullishness, my uh, analysis is that bank nifty is looking bullish. And if bank nifty supports nifty nifty is likely to be even more bullish so 70 percentage i would say nifty is bullish there is a small chance that this was a fake out let's say 20 30 percent there is a significant chance that yape thoda consolidate hoga and finally will give an up move maybe to all time high 18500 but uh, you can't short this thinking that it's a fake out you can decide to not participate thinking it's a fake out but please don't think uh, that it's a fake out and short the market, right? So no shorting. If you're not convinced, stay away from the market, right? Zoro trade karna. You can always stay away. One or two good trades is all we need. So I would stay out of the market if I have disbelief. I'll participate with small wall, smaller bet size if I have somewhat of a disbelief. I will never short because I think that this is a fake out, right? And this is you know, pinky promise. I won't short. Uh, okay, Aman Singh is asking, show my order book. Bhaiya, Q R. Achha, okay, because I don't have big trades and because, uh, you know, I uh, don't have any big uh, screenshots to show, I'll show you my order book. Achha, only showing this because Aman has asked and because, you know, so, okay. So, I don't have any positions whatsoever. All I have is a teeny tiny uh, USD spread. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't have nifty shot. Just you know, putting it out on record. Ki nifty short nahi hai apne paas. Bot time se apne paas kuch bearish nahi, nahi hai. Uh, so, so Aman, I hope uh, you know you are uh, happy uh, that uh, you know I have showed my positions and I don't have any shorts. There's no nifty nothing order book. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I only have like a small USD NR spread. So coming to so okay. So nifty. Most likely it's a breakout. You can participate with small bet size uh, if you think that there is much more momentum left in Nifty. Right? Uh, now again, you can choose to not participate if you think it's a fake out. But please don't short saying that this is a fake out. That is trust issues. That doesn't, you know, uh, get you anywhere. Uh, now, <coughs> uh, now let us do uh, another thing which is last thing USDNR right so USDNR I have a very specific reason why I took this call spread so I'll just explain my rationale so what is that thing uh, sorry the reason why I went long USDNR is this right if you can see this this is a bullish uh, hammer number one or a dragonfly doji with volumes the other reason is there are multiple supports forming here one is this huge uh, bullish hammer right second is this rejection wick third is again this rejection wick right so US dollar is giving you a lot of rejection wicks from the bottom so i have a feeling that uh, this um, can go up further right so because of this belief i took a usd nr long uh, i mean it's a small trade it's like uh, 30k ka uh, uh, maximum downside so i just show that in sensible because uh, you know thoda apna maal bhi pedal karna hai <laughs> right so so let's see positions usd inr and uh, if i do analyze 
basically the position I have is a call spread on USD INR. It has a maximum loss of 26k. It has a maximum profit of 63k. I mean TKR. I mean like two, two weeks left. Uh, I'll break even even at a quarter percent move. Agar gaya to do to do I mean, It's like a kind of tiny hero or zero trade. Nothing big. But the reason why I am doing this is there are multiple rejection wicks on USD INR. And you can say, see one more thing clearly here that USD INR is close to 50 day moving average on daily spot chart, right? Um, so, Yuk is asking a question, should we always hedge? Here, Yuk, the honest answer is no, you need not, but I do spreads because I don't want to look at the market, right? Because, you know, side may sensible chalana and all. So, doing hedge trades helps me to completely focus on work and like, so. In fact, I didn't even remember that I had this, uh, uh, I, I forgot that I have a USD INR, right? I just completely forgot that I have a USD INR trade and I'm, matlab, like, I am, uh, like, during work, if you're thinking, ki, boss, mere pas nifty pada hai, kya hoga, mera, kya hoga, mera, it's very distracting, right? But this spread helps me make peace that, ki, yaar, gaya to, 25,000 gaya, jane do, nahi dekhenge market, stress nahi lenge. I'll tell you a simple experiment, right? Uh, so I did <laughs> this, right? Just take any fitness tracker band, you know, Fitbit Sense, any of this stuff, wear it on your hand, take a trade, look at where your heart rate is going. If your heart rate is increasing, then this is probably not good for you and you need to reduce your position size or you need to do spreads, right? Like seriously, try doing 5 lots of Nifty Future, 10 lot of Nifty Future, whatever your number is and look at your look at your floating PNL and then look at your smartwatch ka uh, heart rate right if that is very high then probably you need to go for spreads instead of doing this naked futures and all so one of the reason why why I uh, uh, why I do spreads is because you know my uh, uh, this thing is uh, so Pratish is asking why don't I run algo instead of spread yeah because I am not doing it for side income and all and I am just doing it for some fun and being connected to the market. If I do algo then I am disconnected right. So my aim of trading is not to make money it's just to you know I like it and I just want to know if I can once in a while get some calls right right that's my only intention. Uh, so anyway so basically long story short Nifty has broken out in all probability please don't short the market here right. Uh, if you don't believe in this breakout get out stay out of the market don't short here. If you in all probability, if I were you, I would take some tiny call spreads or something and participate in this rally wherever this is going. No point thinking that market is scamming me. If the market is scamming someone, then join the scammer and make a little money. Right? Uh, uh, that is one. Uh, stock Academy is saying, Chul, yes, yes, Chul is the real word. I don't think there is a... So Stock Academy is saying that my real reason for trading is Chul. Yes, Stock Academy, you are right. I don't think there is a word for Chul in English, chul is such a beautiful Hindi word. There is no word which captures the essence of chul in English. So yes, chul is the reason you're right. <laughs> so, so yeah, so basically uh, Nifty, no shot. Bank Nifty, definitely uh, uh, long or uh, short, etc. Uh, and finally, uh, 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 finally USD INR looks like a long, right? So this is our net net. Um, Aman is asking what do I do apart from Sensible? Aman, I run this uh, option trading platform called Sensible. I am guessing you are watching this on Zerodha's channel which is why you are asking this question otherwise you are watching this on Sensible channel. But anyway, so this is our analysis for today. Yes, Rahul, you are right. We are doing it for kick. Ace is saying entertainment purpose. Yes, all of that. Uh, kick, cancel and YOLO and all that is why I am trading. <laughs> so, so anyway, this is our analysis for today. We will see you again tomorrow. As usual, this is not what is that? This is not tips, this is not multi-bagger, this is not uh, uh, any of that stuff. This is analysis so that we all uh, figure out how to trade markets using just in independent objective analysis, right? So on that note, we'll I'll take your leave. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow with post-expiry, post-FOMC uh, minutes, uh, ka, uh, what's the thing, um, uh, analysis. So till then, as always, please uh, take care guys and ca keep your capital safe.